Hi everyone, this is Eden from Culture Yard, and today we're going to be talking about how to ask questions in Chinese using the question words shenma and ma. Shema in Chinese means what, and ma is a particle that doesn't have any meaning on its own, but when you add it to the end of the sentence, it turns that sentence into a question. You can think of it a little bit like a question mark that you can pronounce. Uh, let's take a look at some examples. If you want to turn ni xi huan shi ping guo, your you like to eat apples into a question, just add ma to the end, like this. Ni xi huan shi ping guo ma. This makes the sentence into the question, do you like to eat apples? Let's look at one more. Ni shi da wei is the statement, you are David. If you want to turn this into a question, again, just add ma to the end, like this. Ni shi da wei ma. Uh, it makes it into the question, are you David? Adding ma to the end of any statement makes the statement into a yes or no question, which means the question can be answered with either yes or no. And one more important point, ma and shema cannot be used together. Let's look at shema next. Shema, as we mentioned, means what in Chinese. So let's look at the example, what color is that? Na shi shema yan so. Here, shema is found right before the object of the sentence, which is yan so, or color. Let's look at another example. Ni jiao shema ming zi, or what is your name? Again, shema is found right before the object, ming zi, or name. Shema can also be used at the end of the sentence. For example, ni xi huan shi shema or what do you like to eat? Literally translated, this sentence means you like to eat what? So as we said before, shema and ma cannot be used together. However, shema is not just a question word in Chinese. It is also a pronoun, which can mean something or any. So sometimes you might see shema and ma in the same sentence together. However, in these sorts of sentences, they are not both question words. Let's take a look at an example. 你想喝点什么吗? Or do you want something to drink? In this sentence, you can see shema and ma appear together. However, shema here is not a question word. It is a pronoun meaning something. And ma here is what turns the sentence into a question. Let's look at one more example. 您有什么不明白的吗? or do you have any questions? Here, shema and ma are in the same sentence, but shema in this case means any. Let's see if you can use ma to turn these statements into questions. You can pause the video if you need a little extra time. Now it's answer time. Let's take a look. How did you do? Now, uh, let's see if you can use shema to ask a question that would give you these answers. Again, you can pause the video if you need a little extra time. All right, answer time for this one. How did you do? All right, that's it for today. If you've got any questions or comments, be sure to let us know below. And we will see you guys next time with more interesting Chinese grammar. Bye-bye.